What's up, YouTube? Here we have my brother's new, quote-unquote, new car. This is a 1998 Lexus ES300. Um, it was my father's parents' car. Um, and after my grandma passed away about two years ago now, um, the car really didn't get driven much because there was only one person living at the house. So, it was driven to my dad's house probably, I think, June of 2015, where it mostly sat. It moved occasionally. It was starting to run a little bit and um, just run occasionally, not driven a whole lot, until probably about three weeks ago or so when it was driven here. So... Exterior wise, it's in pretty good shape. It's, you know, it's a 1998 car, so it's got, I don't know, well, you can see that. It's got that there. The uh, gold vanity stripe is starting to fade in some places. Uh, it's got a few scratches, and it's pretty filthy up here on top of the trunk, the roof, and uh, the hood. I don't really know how it got this dirty, but. Um, this is after a car wash, so we need to take it through again and see if we can get it all cleaned up here. So, I did not realize this, but the green dust caps mean that the tires have nitrogen in them. In them. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, supposedly there's some benefits to it, but I don't really know. Um... There's the back end. It's a nice car. It's real fun to drive. And uh, it's pretty luxurious for its time. I think it's fully loaded. So there's the trunk. It's got this first aid kit, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I've never seen a car have that before. I'm guessing everything in there is from 1998. Inside. It's got these cool uh, pillarless, well, not pillarless, but uh, the type of doors where there's no trim around the windows, which is neat. Uh, it's got leather interior and leather door panels with the wood grain. Um, the leather's in pretty good shape. Not really any tears, but there's some marks. Um, interior's really pretty clean for what it is. So, like I said, it's fully loaded. It's got, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the uh, memory seats, uh, full power, both front seats, um, power windows, uh, it's got traction control, heated seats, a six CD changer, which is controlled by a little box that has CD holders that you put in there, and then you just control it from the radio. Uh, auto AC, which means when you push this button, it cools the car down, or I guess heats, um, I've only tried it with AC, but, um, it automatically cools the car down to whatever temperature you have it set at to cool down to. So, um, let's pop the hood. Like I said, it's very clean. Um, very comfortable, very nice to sit in. So we'll go around and we'll, we'll pop the hood here. Used to popping this hood because um, needed some work done to it when we brought it here. So, appears to be needing some coolant. I hope that's not leaking. I'll explain why it could be in a minute. Um, but, yep, here's the engine. Uh, 3 liter V6. Uh, can't really say too much about it because I don't really know much about it. But it uh, looks like the timing belt was done not all that long ago. Uh, what does it say? June 22nd, 2010. So, about six years ago. Um, runs pretty good, 
can't say that I've had any problems with it outside of uh, the big issue that we had when we brought it here, which was um, it would not it would not idle properly. Um, sometimes during cold starts, but mostly during warm starts, this thing when you started it, it would immediately bog down and in most cases stall, if not only rev at a few hundred RPMs. So, after uh, trying to clean the throttle body a little bit and uh, cleaning the MAF, it didn't really do much. You would still have to give it a lot of gas right when you started it, and then after that it would idle properly. So, figured uh, by reading some forums that it was the uh, idle air control valve. So, in order to get to that, I had to take the whole throttle body off. I don't know how well you can see that in there, but... There's the throttle body. I had to pop all that off and then uh, take the valve off from there. And um, it, wasn't, it wasn't too hard of a job, but getting the throttle body and all that off was, you know, not magnificently easy. Um, but anyway, there's two lines attached to the idle air control valve. This will be a tip for... If anyone in the future needs to do this, there are two lines attached to the idle air control valve that have coolant in them. So when you unattach those lines from the valve, be ready to have coolant come out. And uh, in fact, most of my reservoir was depleted after I did that. And uh, now the coolant level is low again. I'm thinking that's just because it needed to get everything recirculated back in there. But I'm hoping I don't have a leak. I guess I'll check that out before I start it for you. Okay, topped her off. So once we get it in the garage here, we should be able to better see if it does indeed have a coolant leak. I didn't find any signs of one, but uh, we'll have to see. I'm just crazily over thinky, whatever you would call it, about stuff like this having to do with cars. But I cleaned the idle air control valve and throttle body really good. Used some Q-tips and a whole bunch of throttle, throttle body cleaner. And uh, it runs and drives great now. Well, it ran and drove great before, but it starts perfectly now. And uh, really, I think the only other issue this car has is it's going to need a brake job. It's getting the uh, vibrations when you push on the brake pedal, so... I think we got a warped rotor or something, which uh, is unfortunate because I don't think these brakes were done all that long ago. But that's what happens when it sits. So we'll give it a start here. This car has... I don't know how well you can see that in there. It's not really focusing, but this car has 124,668 uh, miles. So we'll go ahead and give it a start here. And there we go. Uh, before when you started it, it would not do that. So since this is a cold start, I'm not going to rev it, but there you go. Runs great. This motor's pretty peppy. Uh, just for the hell of it, uh, one day when it was wet out last week, turned traction control off and uh, floored it, and she spun the tires. <laughs> so, she's got some life in her. Anyway, uh, there's my brother's new car, and I hope you enjoyed this video.